In the 1920s, Italian immigrant Simon Rodia started to build a series of spires in his Watts backyard. He said he wanted to build something beautiful as a tribute to his adopted city, so he made the towers from what he found around him, garbage. The job took him 33 years, and after he completed it, he handed the deed to a neighbor and vanished, never to return. In the wake of World War II, a new generation of renegade artists decided to stay in L.A. and make a go of it. Choosing to ignore the art history that New York dictated, they looked around to the ugly boulevards, automobile graveyards, the flashy billboards, to find inspiration and called it art. The place where they found each other was called Ferris. There is this tendency out here just to not care about art history, but it's because we're a young city. We're not an old city. We're not surrounded by art. We don't have to deal with our past because there is no past. Even though we didn't have enough evidence, we were completely confident that we were on the right track and everybody else was full of shit, you know? The work that was going on here in the early 60s was as important as any work being made anywhere in the world. Yeah. We got something that's different out here and we can compete with New York. And that's cultural ambition. They had a pool of interesting artists and something was percolating. And then you got the spark, the Ferris Gallery. 